all right so before we do it in the postman let me add few query variables here just like how we have added uh, for uh, a characters query for mutations also let's do it so let's write maybe character name location name episode name these three details uh, i will take it from here okay um location name i would call this time as uh, new zealand <laughs> anything like this and next one is the character name baskin robin and the third one is episode name i am recently watching a netflix series called manifest i am really liking it you can you guys also can try it out so i am giving that name here okay so there is an error here yeah it's obvious because we need to define these on top so basically we need to access these three on mutation level so first on mutation level open brackets and then there define it so first one is location name right that is what we are expecting to get it so that's a string and that's a mandatory one okay and another one what we are expecting is uh where is the dollar yeah character name and that's also string and the final one is episode name so basically those three values whatever we defined in the bottom we are catching here first on mutation global level so from here you can use it in your inside mutation query okay fine so let's copy this location name and this is where you are using your location name right australia something like this replace it perfect here error is gone similarly here also copy it and this is the character name replace it and then this is episode name let's replace this cool now let's try to hit one more time and see everything is good awesome for all these three details uh, we got ids and obviously we already deleted 17 14 locations so it says that locations deleted are zero because they don't exist at all so it did not delete anything new fine now let's take this query and go to postman uh, i'll create another request add request so this one what we did is a query right query and this is mutations see don't expect to have multiple examples here because the whole purpose of graphql is if you want multiple things you can squeeze into one single query and make only one single endpoint call to get all the data what you need okay in rest api calls we used to have so many uh, things here like add the place update the place delete the place and add a location so many things will be there but here one for retrieving one for creating no matter if you want to create character episode everything can be wrapped into one single call so that is where we are taking the advantage of graphql right and again do remember that this is not replacement for rest apis if you watch my beginning videos this is an enhancement or making as a another layer to uh, have your uh, whole architecture optimized um right so obviously this will be your uh, endpoint just like how we have given here right and in graphql everything is a post call because we are sending the body right um graphql and just copy the entire a mutation query here and all the graphql variables what you have declared uh, you can get it here so later if you want you can dynamically get these 
uh, by scripting or all that automated things you know right if you want to get it from global variables or environment level variables all that just like any other postman concepts right so whatever concepts you have used to automate for rest apis to get the global variables all that you can still use it so i'm not going to again talk about specific postman features here our ultimate goal here is to just understand how graphql is working right okay so these things are given and i think that's all just submit and see it should work maybe we'll add new locations this time let's add south africa and rob uh basker rob some change the details and it has to awesome you got a response back and that's it so this is how you can actually create mutations through postman call so i will give this project to download you can download from this video um, here you can you have a classic example of making a queries with graphql variables and you also have a classic mutation example and anytime you can practice by visiting this endpoint so what i recommend you is this is our playground which is nice ui to learn documentation parallelly and do it or if you can also come back and uh, you can do it in postman all right thank you